We know who the four finalists are. This kind of, though, feels like we knew who the four teams were going to be in the playoff. It does feel like this is going to be Joe Burrow's award. Yeah, I think the only debate is by by what number. Will will he break the record? Um, I, I think it's possible. No, nobody's ever going to be unanimous because, remember, of those thousand electors, there, there's at least uh, 30 or 40 who aren't even alive who vote from the, from the crypt. So uh, they may have voted in, 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 in mid-October for someone uh, other than uh, the, Joe Burrow. But I, I don't know how uh, any I, – I would like to see the ballots. I would like somebody to tell me why they didn't vote for Joe Burrow. The real debate was who was next. Was it, was it, was it Fields? Was it uh, Jalen Hurts? Uh, Chase Young. I mean, I, I had uh, Burrow, Fields, and and Hurts. I mean, and and listen. I mean, let me be the the 450th person to say what a feel good story it is for Jalen Hurts. But it is pretty cool. You guys have to admit, a guy Without that question. lost his starting job at Alabama and ends up in the Heisman, uh, going to New York as a Heisman finalist. Talking to Paul Feinbaum of the Paul Feinbaum Show on the SEC Network here on the Shell Penzo Performance Line. Paul, looking at this group and seeing not only the fact that this group is largely comprised of players that we will see in the college football playoff, Sands Trevor Lawrence, who's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, got us to thinking and my dad to ask this question yesterday. Of the four quarterbacks that we've got in the college football playoff now, if you had to rank them based on the trust that you have throwing them out there under center, how would you stack those four? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going Joe Burrow. Um, and I, I know this Trevor Lawrence debate rages on. And, and I, I don't – listen, I, I was there with you, with you and everyone else last January when, when it looked like Trevor Lawrence was, was a generational player. But I just never saw him have to do anything this year. And when, I, when, when, when early in the season he just pressed so much, and I, I don't, I'm not going to take style points away from that, but, I mean, he's a great quarterback. But I trust Joe Burrow right now. I've seen him in every – possible situation I, I've seen him develop uh, I've seen I've seen him under pressure at Alabama when he had to be uh, I've seen him against Auburn in Florida when he when he had to come through and he's never failed uh, I, I saw a quote from Miles Brennan the backup quarterback a couple of days ago asking him have you seen Trevor Lawrence excuse me have you seen Joe Burrow uh, make a bad read this year he said no uh, Trevor Lawrence made enough in the in September to, to last the whole season where would where would Jalen Hurts be on that list? Uh, he would be pretty far down. I, I mean, I thought Jalen Hurts uh, made way too many mistakes. Uh, I mean, if you go back to the first Baylor game, uh, I know it was great that he brought OU back, but but he put them he put his team in a terrible situation. Uh, he was very uh, fumble prone, interception prone. So I would probably have the least faith in him. Uh, Fields had his had some shaky moments down the stretch, but but uh, but I, I I still thought he played spectacularly. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.